Hello everyone, we meet again in the duration of 24 hours channel. Let's take a few minutes every day to listen to the hostage news, the notable events that have taken place on 24 hours channel. In today's news, let's go through the main noteworthy content right away. Ladies and gentlemen, we have received some breaking news from China. This morning, when the atheist officials in Beijing disrespectfully acted against the Buddha, they were immediately met with retribution. Thousands of guards participated in demolishing temples and pagodas, beheading Buddha statues, burning crosses, insulting ancestors, and imprisoning monks and nuns, resulting in extremely tragic and unprecedented deaths. Even the officials who directly ordered these disrespectful actions met the same fate, leaving everyone horrified. According to accounts from residents near Quan Temple in Trinamsun, Thimte Province, which was flattened by the Chinese authorities using cement and burned down last week, the guards involved in the destruction returned home and all suffered from a similar disease. Within less than six days of receiving their rewards, their hands began to rot, and no medicine could cure them. Furthermore, the rotting extended to their entire bodies, causing excruciating pain as if being pierced by thousands of knives. These individuals cried in agony all day long until they eventually died. The terrifying incident sent shudders down everyone's spine. In other cases, some people woke up in the morning to find that their legs had become deformed, unable to stand straight no matter how hard they tried. Strangely, their legs were intertwined and unable to be separated. Their neighbors heard their agonizing cries, similar to the bellowing of the guards in pain. Within a few days, all of these individuals died with their eyes wide open, showing signs of intense suffering. The tragedy didn't stop there, as the spouses or children of these individuals also met with tragic deaths. Some were killed in accidents, while others became mentally unstable, throwing themselves from high buildings. This shocking event has shaken the entire mainland, with online comments stating, if they didn't believe in the Buddha, that's fine, but they dared to disrespect temples and destroy them. Now they face the consequences. Indeed, it seems to have fulfilled the saying, we will bear all the consequences. According to the information, the law of karma has also reached to 50 Chinese officials. One person died in a helicopter accident on the same day the order to demolish temples and pagodas was issued. Another individual, who was previously healthy, suddenly developed high blood pressure and became unable to walk normally, resulting in early retirement for medical treatment. According to the instructions from higher authorities, Trong Hulam, the secretary of Chaijong province, ordered the lower ranks to demolish temples, statues of the Buddha, as well as statues of Jesus and Mary throughout the region, while loudly proclaiming, we are party members, and we do not believe in any deity. Prepare explosives to destroy the temples decisively, eradicating all religious structures in the area to gain merits for the party. As the workers were unable to convince anyone, they had to dig holes and bury explosives, igniting them to destroy Quan Temple, creating a new road. It is known that on the first day the road was opened, Trong drove a bulldozer through the destroyed Quantum Temple, but the vehicle suddenly overturned. Trong was seriously injured and rushed to the district hospital for emergency treatment. The following day, Truong's wife was riding another tractor to visit him at the hospital. However, when the tractor reached Quantum Temple, it overturned, causing Truong's wife to die on the spot. After returning home from the hospital, Truong suddenly developed severe hypertension, making it impossible for him to work normally. He had to retire and seek treatment at home. After a few days at home, Truong's condition worsened. He became unable to move normally, spending the whole day lying down without being able to turn his body. There were times when he had to defecate and urinate right on the bed, and he eventually passed away recently. After Truong's death, the entire town set up an altar to worship the Buddha and regularly engage in vegetarian practices and Buddhist chanting. Ladies and gentlemen, disrespecting the Buddha is the most foolish act that can bring immediate karmic retribution. In fact, there have been many instances where people who committed evil acts faced instant consequences, awakening their understanding of karma. The occurrence of retribution is not limited to the present day but dates back to ancient times when those who destroyed Buddha statues suffered painful deaths. In the book and Haikin Tamshai of the Tang Dynasty, 
There is a recorded case of a person who died after destroying a Buddha statue as follows. During the reign of Emperor Huzong of the Northern Song Dynasty, he revered Taoism and suppressed Buddhism. Consequently, Fo Chu Tu, a famous Buddhist temple in the Tsushu city, was occupied. The temple housed a magnificent and dignified Buddha statue. The occupiers desired to destroy the statue but were afraid of the Buddha's divine power. Therefore, they offered a high reward to find someone daring enough to carry out this task. At that time, a person named True, driven by the desire for a large sum of money, accepted the job and recruited a few others to wield hammers to destroy the Buddha statue. True and his group of eight individuals continuously hammered the statue without rest. In the end, the Buddha statue was completely destroyed, leaving the onlookers in lamentation. Some even shed tears witnessing that scene. Within just 10 days of receiving their reward, True and his companions' hands began to rot, and no medicine could cure them. Furthermore, the decay spread gradually from their hands to their arms, shoulders, and eventually their whole bodies. Their bodies were covered in festering wounds, experiencing excruciating pain as if being pierced by thousands of swords. The man named True cried all day long, suffering from the decay for 100 days until his miserable death. Everyone who learned about this incident was terrified and filled with horror. Throughout history, wise individuals believed in the law of karma, stating that good deeds bring good rewards, and evil deeds bring evil consequences. Although the ultimate fate of those who participated in the destruction of the Buddha statue is not recorded, it is likely that they also could not escape the karmic retribution like the man named True. Even Emperor Huzong, who ordered the suppression of Buddhism, was eventually captured by the Jin Dynasty, enduring humiliation and meeting a tragic end. This shows that good deeds bring good rewards, and evil deeds bring evil consequences is impartial. Ladies and gentlemen, a great disaster has occurred in China, marking the most terrifying rainstorm in Chinese history. At 9 a.m. this morning, the sky over Beijing suddenly turned pitch black, resembling a gloomy night. Fierce winds swept through, appearing immensely dreadful. The swirling tornadoes seemed like monstrous creatures devouring everything in their path, accompanied by loud explosions that struck fear into people's hearts. Numerous vehicles were sucked up and thrown into the air, colliding and erupting in flames within the tornado, reminiscent of doomsday scenes. Once the tornado passed, those who managed to escape breathed a sigh of relief, congratulating themselves on their luck. However, suddenly, black, sticky substances fell from the sky, resembling slime but extremely slippery. Numerous accidents occurred on the roads, particularly on the expressway, where hundreds of vehicles collided due to the slippery oil-like substance. The drivers desperately tried to apply the brakes, but they had no effect due to the lack of friction caused by the slippery substance. Many people recorded the scenes of multiple vehicle collisions and shared them online while warning other drivers not to travel on those roads. According to the authorities, the black substance that fell on the road is crude oil that hasn't been processed. It was brought up by the tornado's centrifugal force as it passed by a nearby oil refinery. To cope with the situation promptly, authorities deployed sanitation teams to collect the substance using vacuum trucks and spread sawdust. Local newspaper reporters asked a member of the accident-affected team, who stated, This has never happened in our homeland. So, do you believe the government's announcement is true? He added, Part of it is true, as the substance is crude oil, which everyone knows. But in my opinion, they are exaggerating the situation to profit from the reported loss. Another person believed that our country has recently experienced strange natural disasters, indicating an unfavorable omen for China and its people. According to statistics, hundreds of people have perished due to devastating tornadoes in China. According to Xinhua News Agency, at least 60 people have died and 271 others were injured following another destructive tornado that occurred yesterday evening in Wuhan City, Hubei Province, central China. With winds reaching 23.9 meters per second, the tornado ripped roofs off houses, causing damage to over 130 residential buildings, toppling many tents at construction sites, and uprooting numerous trees. Furthermore, Two large crane towers and a 180-square-meter building at the construction site were also damaged by the tornado. Most of the injured were caused by falling trees, collapsed roofs, 
advertising billboards falling on people, and they were taken to local medical facilities. More tragically, two sanitation workers working at height were struck by strong winds that shattered the glass, resulting in their untimely deaths. The investigation is currently seeking accountability for individuals involved, as the adverse weather conditions were predicted prior to the incident. This incident has stirred up public discussion in China. Yesterday afternoon, five greenhouse sanitation workers in Jiangxi, China, were suspended on a high-rise building to perform cleaning tasks when suddenly a strong gale force then swept through the area, causing their hanging platform to shake violently and continuously collide with the building wall. Rescue teams managed to save them, secure the hanging platform, and transport them to the hospital, but unfortunately, these workers passed away afterward. According to reports from local weather news outlets, a large tornado swept through Wuhan, Hubei, China, yesterday afternoon, accompanied by heavy rain and adverse weather conditions. Those were the detailed summaries of the key highlight of the day from 24 Hours Channel. Thank you all for paying patient attention and staying tuned until the end of this video. Please leave your comment in the comment section below for us to respond in a timeline manner. Goodbye and see you again.